And every time we engage in prayer, we engage in spiritual battle. Praise the name of the living God. Welcome to ever increasing springs of life church Nairobi, the tower of righteousness. Our mission is to be We are like the tree planted by the river slow. We shall never wither, we shall never be out. Because Lord, you are together with us. Because my Father, you are greater and your power is together with us, my Father. How I give you glory, how I give you praise, how I exalt your holy name, Almighty Father. Tuna kuinu wabwana, tuna kutukuza mfalme wamani, tuna kuwaburu jioni ya leo, tukisema niwewe unasaili sifa, niwewe unasaili kuwabudi wabwana, niwewe unasaili kueshimi wabwana, hakuna mwingine kama wewe wabwana, tuna inuwa mecho yetu kwako, kwa sababu najua msada wetu, watoka mikoni kwako wabwana. We give you praise. We give you honor, my Father. We magnify your name and we adore you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In Amini, Umeni Chora, Vika Jani Mwako, Mikononi, Umeni Weka, Niwe Sa. Lama Nina Mini Umeni Chora Vika Jani Mwako Mikononi Umeni Weka Niwe Sa Lama Mimi Nina Mini Umeni Chora Chora. Sure. 
glorify your name and we magnify you, Lord. You are highly exalted and highly lifted, our Father. We welcome your presence today. As we pray, Lord, as we hear your word, as we continue to seek you, Lord, in this week of prayer and fasting, our Father, we continue to pour our hearts to you, Lord, pouring our minds to you, King of glory, declaring your power and your glory upon our lives. We thank you because of your faithfulness. We bless you because of your power. We bless you because of the anointing of God upon our lives. We know that this week, Lord, we are capturing our destinies. Our destinies are going to be delivered to us, King of glory, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are releasing ourselves to go and activate ourselves in our air of callings in the name of Jesus. We thank you and we bless you because there is none like you, our Father. I pray that you use me this afternoon, this evening, Lord, as I share your word, my Father. I remove that which is mine and I place that which is yours in my heart, O oh Lord, that you may speak through me, King of glory. May this word become healing in our lives. May this word restore us, King of glory. May this word build us, Almighty oh Father, because we put our trust in you. We give you glory, we give you praise, honor, and reason, King of glory, this evening. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, we pray and give thanks. Amen and amen. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Good evening, all of you. Good evening, all of you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Naomba kuwakaribisha katika ibada ya jioni ya leo. Uh, kwa huruma za Bwana, amenichagua siku ya leo nikawe chombo ambacho atanitumia. Nashukuru sana kwa waimbaji wetu Bwana aweze kuwabariki. Thank you for being allowing God to use you a time like this. Hallelujah. Uh, nashukuru Bwana. I want to welcome all our online viewers. Welcome to this Wednesday midweek service. May the Lord bless you. Thank you for joining us. Those who are joining us now and even those who will watch us later, we pray that the Lord will bless you. The Lord will keep you and his faith and his hand will be upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome all and God bless you and keep you well. My name is Reverend Anne. I am privileged to be a pastor in this church and to pastor wonderful people in this altar. I honor and I praise the Lord. I humble so much in his presence because I know it is not by right. It is just a privilege that God has given us. So I want us to continue with what we were discussing and uh, I thank God because he has been teaching us about the heart of an intercessor and when God speaks to us, when God directs us, and when God leads us, it is the best thing that we can do to ourselves. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wakati Mungu anakuongoza, unaweza kujua jinsi vile unafaa kuishi. Na ni vizuri sana wakati Mungu anakuongoza, unakuwa na moyo wa kufundishwa. A teachable spirit. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ni watu wengi sana ambao wangependa Mungu kuwatumia lakini kwa sababu ya kutokuwa na moyo wa kufundishika ama kufunzika inakuwa vigumu wao kubeba hati mazao. Na wiki hii tunaomba tukiambia Bwana tunajiwachilia katika hatima zetu. Bwana asifiwe. We are fasting the whole of this week tukiambia Bwana we are releasing ourselves. Tunajiachilia katika hatima zetu. Hatuwezi kuingia katika hatima because for you to get to your destiny lazima uwe na mwalimu. Hallelujah. Lazima Mungu akufunze akutumie mtu ambaye atakusaidia, atakushika mkono ili uweze kuingia katika hatima yako. Na kama hauna a teachable spirit, itakuwa vigumu kufunzwa na kurekebishwa hadi utoshee katika hatima yako. It is my prayer that Lord Mungu atupatia mioyo ya kufundishwa. And whatever we learn, whatever thing Mungu ametufunza wiki hii ama mwezi huu, tutaweza kushikilia na kufanya putting it into practice. Hallelujah. Happy new month. I declare a great move of God this month in your life in the name of Jesus. Mwezi huu Mungu atakuinua. Mwezi huu hautagonjeka. Mwezi huu hautakosa. Mwezi huu Mungu anafungua milango and we will recover whatever you have lost 
for the last eight months in the name of Jesus. Tunapoingia mwezi huu tunajiambia kwamba nitapokea yote ambayo sikupokea mwezi huu. Na as we approach the end of the year, tunamaliza mwaka huu tukiwa na ushindi wa Bwana. This is a year of divine greatness. Hallelujah. So as we work as we serve God to ditume, jiwachilie, wacha Mungu akuongoze, wacha Mungu akupatie hitaji za mioyo yetu mwezi huu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Wale ambao mlikosa mwezi uliopita, mwezi huu nakutabiria utapata zaidi ya ile ambayo ulikosa. In the name of Jesus, we are teaching ourselves about the heart moyo wa muombezi. Na tumekuwa tukijifunza hii tangu mwezi uliopita na naomba nikaweze kumaliza hii ujumbe maana ni ndefu sana that is why ibada ya leo nikaona ni ubiri kwa sababu ya kumalizishia so that on sunday we just finalize with the passion the, uh, the place ambayo imebaki has it been a blessing to you imekuwa ya baraka mafundisho haya bwana asifiwe umejifunza kitu ama tu ni pasta anapiga kelele hapa Tumesoma. Hallelujah. Tulikuwa tunasoma Sunday kuhusu the qualities of an intercessor. Na naomba kuendeleshea tu hapo. Tukasema quality ni nini? Ubora wa muombezi. Nikasema kuna ubora fulani ya kwamba kila muombezi ama kila mtu ambaye anatamani kuwa muombezi anafaa kuwa nayo. Kuna ubora ambayo haufai kukosa. This is the bare minimum. Hii ndio kiwango cha chini zaidi cha muombezi ambaye anafaa kuwa nacho. Na nikasema kwamba muombezi anafaa kuwa mtu ambaye amejazwa na Roho Mtakatifu. Somebody who is full of the Holy Spirit. Nikasema namba 2, muombezi anafaa kuwa mtu ambaye ako na integrity. Ni mtu ambaye anaweza kuaminika. Ni mtu ambaye hawezi kuwa compromised. Hallelujah. Na nikasema kwamba ni intercessor is somebody who is committed commitment is part of obedience hallelujah mtu ambaye ni committed mtu ambaye ni mtu ambaye amejitoa ni mtu ambaye anatii hallelujah tukikubaliana kwamba tunakutana mahali fulani unatii na unapatikana mahali pale if you cannot be committed you cannot be an intercessor muombezi ni mtu ambaye ako na commitment Mtu ambaye anajituma, mtu ambaye hangoji kusukumwa, mtu ambaye hangoji simu, mtu ambaye hangoji kuambiwa ni mtu ambaye anaona na anafanya kulingana na vile macho yake yamemuonyesha. Praise the name of the living God. Ni mtu ambaye anaji anajiachilia kabisa. Hey, am I talking to someone? So we must be committed people. Lazima tujifunze kuwa committed. Tujifunze kuwa obedient. Mungu akisema wacha kujiombea, ombea ishu fulani hautangangana na Mungu. Utamwambia kama umesema ni wacha yangu, nishike ya huyo ndugu, basi I will do as you say. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. So today I want to talk about point number three or four. Ya kwamba an intercessor muombezi anafaa mtu mtu ambaye ako na boldness boldness ni nini ujasiri thank you somebody who is bold and fearless ni mtu ambaye ako na ujasiri na ako na hana roho ya uoga kama Mungu amekupita katika level ya intercessor unafaa kuwa mtu ambaye haogopi mtu ambaye ako tayari kupigana na kila aina ya kitu ambayo inasimama kati yake na watu ambaye Mungu amemuita kuwaombea an intercessor is somebody who is bold you have the capacity to carry whatever god has put in your heart uko na uwezo wa kubeba uko na uwezo wa confront shetani uko na uwezo wa kuambia yeye kwamba hautapita huu mpaka this is the end of you bwana asifiwe wewe ni mtu ambaye unaweza kusema kwamba shetani what is it ujasiri wa kusema hapa ndipo mwisho wako unajua some of us because of compromise huh? because of compromise 
Wewe hauna shida Tembea na wakora ha? Wewe hauna mipaka Muombezi ni mtu ambaye ako na mipaka Kuna mahali hauwezi enda Kuna mahali hauwezi ingia Kuna kikundi cha watu hauwezi kana wao Kuna maeneo fulani hauwezi patikana Maana uko na mipaka You have boundaries that you have put for yourself Praise the name of the living God Lakini mtu ambaye hana mipaka Ni mtu ambaye anaweza kuinginiwa na anyone And anything at any given time But an intercessor is somebody who has limits Akona mipaka ameweka Nasema up to this Tuheshimiani Na hata if you are in the company of your friends Wanajua mipaka ya huyu ndugu Inafika mahali flani Bana yesu asifiwe Sasa wewe ukita kuwa muombezi If you want to be an intercessor You must have boundaries You must declare to yourself ya kwamba Up to this place Sita pita Amen Hallelujah Kuna marafiki aina fulani kwangu hawata ingia. Kuna watu aina fulani sita kubali kuingia na wao. You are bold enough to say no to some things. Praise the name of the living Lord. Mimi nime meet na watu I have met with people who have no capacity ya kusema no. Hawajui kusema hapana. I have met such people in my life. Wao ukisema ni left Wanasonga na wewe Wakisema ni right wewe uko tu Hauna capacity in you Kuambia mtu aa ndugu hapa Hapa sipiti Dada hapa Hapa mimi sifanyi hii mambo An intercessor is somebody who is bold To declare their interest To speak their mind To speak their views Without fear Wana yesu asifiwe Most of us Tunakosa kutumiwa Tunakosa kuomba Because when God looks at us Anaona huyu mutu hana boldness enough Hana enough boldness To do what I'm calling them to do They have no boldness To say what I'm supposed to say Look at Jeremiah Mungu na maombia Nita kutengenezea usongumu Jeremiah was meant To be a hard prophet A bold prophet Who could stand before anybody Na muambie, thus says the Lord. Praise the name of the living God. But because of compromise, because we are, we are, fear, we are fearful, to now go back, to lose some friends, we fear to lose some family members, we become fearful not to speak that which God is saying about our lives. Lakini mutu ambaya naomba, muombezi, Anafaa kuwa na surangumu. Anafaa kuwa mtu ambaye haogopi. Mungu wakisema ni hivi. That is final. They move courtesy of the voice of God in their lives. But it is a problem to the church. Fungua na mimi in the book of Hebrews. Hebrews 4. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. Hebrews 4. Let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our times of what? Of need. Approach the throne of God with what? King James said, approach the throne of God with boldness. Hata mungu hataki mutu mbelezake ambaye hana confidence. God is looking for men and women who have confidence. People who can approach his throne with the confidence because they know what they are looking for before God. Kama hauna boldness, kama hauna confidence, you cannot be a candidate. You cannot be an intercessor in the presence of God. Hallelujah. So even God is expecting us as we pray in his presence, unapo enda mbele za buwana, unaenda mbele zake ukiwa na ujasiri. Kwa sababu unajua, na itaji kitu fulani. My desire, it is to approach God with confidence. Hallelujah. Ni wengi, when we go before God, 
Mungu anakuuliza what do you want? You become like that man who was sick for 38 years. The son of God appears and amwambia, "Man, do you want to walk?" And amwambia, "Ah ah, then I am waiting for a man who can throw me in the in the pool that I can be I can be well." Bala ambie bwana, "Yes, I want to be well." Look at Batimaya, confidence. Anasikia kelele. Anauliza, "What is happening here?" Anaambiwa Batimaya, "The son of God, Jesus, son of David is passing here." And because Batimaya's amesikia, nyakakuwa na ushuhuda ya kwamba Yesu anaponya. Batimaya kajua, "Today is my day." Hallelujah. Batimaya had confidence. He approached Jesus with the confidence. Hallelujah. Akasema Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Watu akamwambia Batimayo, nyamaza. You are making noise, but because of the boldness of Batimaya, he never kept quiet. The Bible says, give him no rest until he answers our prayers. It is your work to give God no rest. But Mayo alijua, Yesu akipita hapa, I would die a blind man. I would die a cripple man. So what do I do? Nitapia kelele, I will scream until somebody listens to me. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. We want people like Batimayo in church. We are desiring people like Batimaya who don't care about what people say. People who are purpose and they are focused to receive what they are supposed to receive from God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Batimaya akasema mara ya kwanza, akaambiwa na watu, nyamaza. Eh akasema hapana, I can't keep quiet when my time to be delivered has come. How can I keep quiet when the son of David, the one nimesikia anaponya, vile nimesikia anakomboa, vile nimesikia anainua? Siwezi kunyamaza mpaka huyu mtu aniponye. Praise the name of Jesus. Na aka shout the second time. Jesus, son of David, nihurumie. Yesu akasimama. The Bible says and Jesus stood. Hallelujah. It is the boldness that you have that will make Jesus stand in your prayers. It is the confidence that you have over God that will make Jesus listen to you because how many people are praying ni watu wangapi wanaomba saa hii bwana asifiwe ni watu wangapi wanafunga siku ya wiki hii so it is the person who has boldness is the one who will attract the attention of jesus there were so many people who were with jesus Na kulikuwa na wengine wako na magonjwa kubwa kuliko ya Batimayo. But because Batimayo understood the season, he understood the times, akasema this is my day. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ni siku ngapi umeenda mbele za Bwana ukiwa hauna confidence? Ni mara ngapi umeenda kwa mbele ya Mungu unaombea issue ambayo pia we mwenyewe kwa moyo wako una doubt? <laughs> Bible in the book of Matthew that if you have faith as little as what a mustard seed kama una imani ambaye ni ndio kama mbegu ya aladali unaweza kuambia huku mlima utoke ujitupe wapi kwa mto na utakutii so what you do, what is not we don't have faith we have faith but what we lack in our faith is the confidence it is the boldness of declaring. The Bible says that, and you shall decree a thing. Now utasema jambo, and you shall do what? It shall come to pass. You shall decree a word, and it shall come to pass. So the confidence of decree is what the church lacks today. Tunaomba sana, tunafunga sana, tunakaka katika wepo wabwana, lakini hatuna boldness. And when you lack boldness, you can't approach the throne. The Bible says the kingdom of God suffereth violence. And the violent shall take it by force. Sio kujua mungu sana. Sio miaka mingi ya wokovu. Uh-uh. You can be born again today. 
and tomorrow you do wonders. Why? The confidence or the boldness that you have towards the God that you serve. Some of us, we have God, but we don't have the confidence. We don't believe that what we pray, God can answer. And that is why you've been praying for an issue for a long time. Umeyombea jambo. Umefikiria jambo. Lakini haibadiliki because you don't have the confidence. Let us then approach the throne of God with boldness. Ah. Bwana kasema, and I have found a man after my own heart who will do what? Deliver my people. God doesn't use cowards. Mungu hatumi watu ambao ni waoga. Mungu haongeleshi watu ambao ni waoga. Hapana. He is looking for men and women who can walk with him with the confidence that he wants. Friends, an intercessor, lazima awe mtu ambaye ako na confidence ya kwenda mbele za Bwana. Kumwambia Bwana, nimekuja mbele zako siku ya leo. I want you to help me on these areas. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini kama hauna ujasiri, kama wewe ni mtu muoga, hauwezi kutembea na Bwana. Hauwezi kutumiwa na Mungu. Hauwezi angalia hata wale watu Mungu aliita. Look at Joshua. A very confident man. Mtu ambaye ako bold. Joshua hakuwa anaomba kupigana. Paka anaambiwa go and spy the land. Wakati wanakuja wanasema nini in the book of Numbers? The land is flowing with milk and honey. You for somebody to say that ni mtu ambaye ako na ujasiri na Mungu wake. Anajua kama Mungu amesema atatenda. Bwana asifiwe sana. Lakini sisi kwa sababu tumezoea kupewa vitu, acha niseme ukweli. Tumezoea ku, kutegemea watu sana. Ha? Na nikasema hivi, there are people who come to church because of what they receive from the church. Watu wanakuja kanisani kwa sababu ya nini? Shida. Hawakuji kumtafuta Mungu. We unakuja unataka kutumika lakini unauliza mshahara yangu ni ngapi? Kabla nihubiri ni mshahara yangu ni ngapi? Yaani your motivation is man How we motivated by by righteousness. Wewe hautaki utakatifu, wewe hautaki utaki righteousness ya Mungu. You are desire it is to be paid to be in the pulpit. That is a wrong way of serving God. If you serve God because of money, ile siku pesa taisha utamwacha. Let us serve God because we have confidence in what we say, in what he says. We have confidence in what he tells us. That whatever he speaks, whatever he says over our lives, he is well able to do it. Bana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. So the person who is an intercessor, lazima awe mutu ambaya akona nini? Ujasinipe Hebrews 10. Hebrews 10, 19. Hebrews 10, 19. Confidence is what provokes God to work. Let me tell you. Kama hauna ujasiri, maumbi yako tu ni moto tu, mbele za buwana. Inakuwa kelele. God loves confident people. Si watu kama Jonah, Wanaambiwa enda ukatoe unabi, anaogopa, anatembe ya nyingine. Mungu andaka mtu kama pauno. Akimuambia utakufa Jerusalem. Anasema huko tuno kunye naenda. I don't care dying. I don't care humiliation. I don't care to be done what? Isolated. What I care about is what my father has said. I will speak before him with confidence. Therefore brothers, since we have what? Confidence. To enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus. We have confidence to enter the holy place. Duguzangu, hawezi ingia the holy of holies. Patakatifu pabwana kama hauna ujasiri. It is the confidence that drives you to seek God. It is the confidence that puts you to enter into the holy of holies. Most of us, we're back here, for the outer court. 
our prayers are in the outer. You know the, the way you tengenezwa? Kuna the, the gates, the outer court, the inner court, and what? The holy of holies. So when you went to, to call the outer court, mahali pa kupokelewa the bihu. Kuna mahali pa kuchinjia the holy place and putting the blood on the vessels. Na kuna mahali the blood is taken inside to the holy of holies. Patakatifu pa buwana hapa ingiwi kama hauna ujasiri. Na ndiyo maana wakati ule, ndiyo kuhani aende kutoa the bihu in the holy of holies. Alikuwa jitakasa mwakamzima. One year of purifying yourself. Because uneza ingia pale, ukose kurudi, ukiwe na dhambi. Praise God. And because of that, because of the sinful nature of man, to make attack, watch some, some kind of sin, to make a kwa inner court, ama the outer court. Nobody is ready to enter to the Holy of Holies. Because yule alikuwa na ingia pale, alikuwa na fungwa nini? Kamba kwa mugu. Maana nobody else could enter. Kwa na shifiwe. Lakini wakati Yesu alikuja, masuwe kwa nini? Pasie ikapasuka. So we can access, but the qualification of accessing there, you must be holy, you must be righteous, and you must have confidence to approach your father. Wana Yesu asifiwe. May God help us, church. That as much, you know, I've been asking, nimekua nikijiuliza, nikua nini? Tunaomba sana. Tunafunga sana. Lakini matokeo ni duni. Hallelujah. There is a problem. Kuna shida watu wa mungu. Maombi yetu, haifiki the holy of holies. Maana ikifika pale, inapata attention ya mungu. Inapata mungu anangojea. Ha? Kupokea na kujibu. But the kind of prayers we are making, it has no confidence to usher, to usher us to the holy place by the blood of Jesus. Why? Because some of us, tuko na dhambi, tumeshikilia. Tuko na shida, tumeshikilia. So we cannot have the confidence because we know ourselves. Unajielewa vizuri. Ya kwamba uko na shida. Unaongea sana. You make noise so much. You talk too much. So God can't speak to you. God can't hear you. Because your body is done what? Umechafuka. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. So we must have the confidence to approach. Every intercessor must have the confidence. Give me the book of Acts. Acts chapter 4 verse 13. My Bible says, Therefore, brethren, we have the confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus Christ. Acts. Yes. When they saw the boldness of Peter and John and realized that they were not, they were unschooled, ordinary men, they marveled and took note that this man had been with who? Jesus. Church. The people you entertain in your life will bring out the character that you have. Wale watu we utembea na wawo. Wale watu ambao we uka na wawo sana. They affect our lives. Look at this man. Sio masomo inafanya mungu wajibu maombi ya mtu. Wana sifiwe. It is not education that makes God answer our prayers. The Bible says and when they saw the boldness in Peter and who? John. They, they realized that they were in school. Walipo ona ujasiri wao. Na wakajua hawajasoma. Then they realized, ah ah, these men walikuwa na mtuflani. So your company can either give you confidence or put fear in your life. Yesu Aliwa in effect. Na nini? Boldness. And out of that boldness, they were able to speak before men who are schooled. So don't underestimate yourself if you have Jesus and his blood gives you permission to enter into the holy of holies. 
Friends, develop a heart of boldness. Jifunze kuwa na ujasiri. Jifunze kuwa mtu ambaye hana uoga because of the blood of Jesus that speaks better things than the blood of who? Abel. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It is the confidence in you that makes you become an intercessor. Maana muombezi wakati mwingi hutumwa kwa maeneo ambayo sio mazuri. And I learned a lot from the life of Jeremiah and the life of Ezekiel. Mambo yale walipitia. It needed somebody who has confidence to do them. You are thrown into a dungeon. Unatupa kwa shimo. Kwa muda mrefu. But you still maintain your word. Unawambia, muna ingia exile. Muna shikwa mateka. Muta ingia kwa mateka Babyloni. Even when nobody wants to hear you, you should learn to speak the truth. Let me tell you, church, wakati unaona, unapeno na kila mtu, wewe ukosawa na kila mtu, you have a problem. Ume compromise. Lazima utafika mahali ukatalewe na watu. Kwa nini? Umechagua kuwa tofauti. People who are different, they are noticeable. Wanaonekania mbali sana. You don't need to tell somebody you are different. The way you behave, the way you talk, the way you do your things, you will realize who you mtu ni watofauti sana. Lakini because of compromise, to make a compromise beyond, we unaka kwa ba unashida, you are okay in a pub with the friends who are drinking. We unakunywa nini? Soda. Nasi mara mis kunywa ngombe lakini mara fikiza ngo na kunywa kwa. You are compromised. We may compromise so much because the Bible says birds of the same feather they flock. Together, show me your friends and I'll show you your destiny. The kind of people you entertain, they either break your confidence or build your confidence. This man, because of being with Jesus, the Bible says they had boldness to speak before men. Kuna marafiki hawaitaji. Kuna watu hawaitaji kwa maisha yako. Hata kama mulizaliwa na wahu hawaitaji. Kwa nini? Kama tabia yao ni mbaya. Wewe wakishikuwa na shida. Pia wewe. Watasema ni wale vijana wa wapi? Ni wale wadada wa wapi? Ni wale wandugu wa wapi? Because you walk with them. You will be identified by them. How will you be identified by who? By Jesus. Wakasema aje. They marvel and they took knowledge of what? That they had been with Jesus. Hawezi kuwa na Yesu. Na utembek na watu wa dunia. You have compromised. You are lying to yourself. Wana Yesu asifiwe. Na kwa sababu ya hiyo company yako, hawezi kuwa na confidence ya kwenda mbele za nani? Za mungu. Mana ukijua kabisa nafiki yako, anafanya nga mambe ya usherati. Na wewe umenyamaza. Na wewe unamuentertain. Na wewe unakana, hey, what are you doing? Kido kidogo atakuambukiza. Utaambukizwa huwa ugonjwa Na utakosa confidence Ya madhabawi ya buwana Even when you come before God You will not offer the sacrifice that he wants Dabi huyako Itakuwa iko either blind Iko either lame Ama Iko malnourished Mungu wana ikata Mana dabi utu siyo pesa Dabi uniyo Iyo kazi ya mbo nafanyia mungu Kujitoa ni dabi humbele za buwana So kama we mwenye una uchafu Thabiu yako yuwezi kubalika mbele za buwana. Anasema, hiyo thabiu haitaki. Praise the name of the living God. Intercessors are bold people and fearless. Don't fear to tell your friend the truth. Usiogope kuambia rafiki yako ukweli. Hata kama anakusaidia vipi. Muambia ndugu hapa, ini ni makosa. Lakini when you keep quiet when your brother is sinning, wewe na ye mko kitu kimo? Wana asifiwe. Unakataa kuniambia amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hii ni kujua ya kwamba ndio ukwe muombezi lazima ujiweke mipaka. Lazima ukubali kujiwekea mipaka. Unajiambia hata kama nyama ni tamu aje namna bali. Kwa sababu ni ba sitaingia. Hata kama rafiki yangu ana pesa kiasi gani? Kwa sababu mambo anafanya sipendi. Kwa sababu pesa yake ni chafu, sita ikula. 
wanasifiwe. Look at Daniel. Shadrach, Meshach na Abednego wameingia Babiloni. Mfalme akasema wapewe chakula cha nini? Cha ufalme. Lakini wakasema hapana. Tutakula hiyo tupatie mboga na maji miaka mitatu. Bana asifiwe walikataa to defy themselves with the food of the king. Wakasema mimi chakula ya mfalme sitaki. Maana imetolewa nini? Kafara. Sitakula hiyo nipatie mboga na maji. Na baada ya wao kukula miaka tatu when they were walienda mbele ya mfalme walipendeka zaidi kuliko wale walikuwa wanakula chakula nani? Na mfalme. God can preserve you if you make boundaries with him. Hallelujah. God will provide for you if you allow him to be your Lord fully. Then he will use you to do his work. Number two. Au namba ngapi hiyo? The next one, an intercessor lazima awe compassionate. Lazima uwe na moyo wa kuhurumia ama moyo wa huruma. Bwana asifiwe. Hiyo ni compassionate. Muombezi ni mtu ambaye ako na roho ya huruma. You are able to feel for somebody else. Najua kuna watu mimi nimeona. Hawanaanga shida na mtu hata ukikufa njaa. They don't care. You know? Unawajua? They don't care. Watu ambao hawana mzigo wa mtu. Yeye bora amekula, amekunywa, amelala period. Nyinyi wengine mjipange. Lakini muombezi ni mtu ambaye ako na moyo wa huruma. Anaweza kuona shida ya mtu mwingine aibebe na uzito kama ni shida zake mwenyewe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Anaweza kuhurumia mtu na kutoa yake yote na kupeana. I remember one time nilikuwa mahali nilikuwa tuna shilingi moja kwa mfuko yangu. Kisha mama moja akani akani approach akaniambia woi mimi hata sijakula. Na yenyewe kuna ule mtu anza kuambia jakula lakini una ah huyu ameshiba. Huyu alikuwa kabisa Hana. Na akaniambia mimi sijakula siku tatu. Na mimi nikajua kwangu kuna food. Bwana asifiwe. Akaniambia nisaidie shilingi ya msini Peke yake tu. Ukinipea 50 nitakuwa nimekula na nimekunywa. Mimi nikaona ah sina change. Nikachukua mia yangu nikampa. Na niko town. Sina fare. Bwana asifiwe. Nikaamua kutembea mpaka nyumbani. Lakini huyu mtu akule. Praise the name of the living God. That is compassionate. Lazima uwe na moyo wa huruma because unaweza kuhurumia mtu leo umsaidie na kesho awe rais wa nchi. Kesho awe mtu maarufu. Kesho awe mtu wa baraka katika maisha yako. So you are compassionate towards people will enable will enable God to elevate you to a higher level. If you are compassionate you will be used of God. Maana Mungu anapenda mtu ambaye ana moyo wa kuvunjika. Ndio maana Daudi akamwambia niumbie moyo safi moyo wa kuvunjika not just to god but also to fellow men hallelujah i'll read you a story in the book of exodus chapter 2 exodus chapter 2 exodus chapter 2 verse from verse aha uh-huh. from verse 6 the story of moses that's why i'm saying you are compassionate over somebody be an opening kwa maisha ya mtu kuwa mtu mashuhuri katika dunia mke ama dada ya farao wakati aliona Musa kwa mtoni this is a story about Moses the bible says and she had what mercy she was compassionate akahurumia mtoto let's see let's see aha uh-huh. from verse 6 verse 6 When she opened it, I will start from verse 5. Please, sorry. Verse 5. Soon the daughter of Pharaoh went down to bathe in the Nile, and her her attendants were walking along the river bank. And when she saw the basket among the reeds, she sent her maid servant to retrieve it uh huh when she opened it she saw the child and behold the little boy was crying so she had what compassion over him and said 
this is one of the Hebrew children. Then what happened? Verse 7. Then, the sister, then his sister said to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and call one of the Hebrews women to nurse the child for you? Uh-huh. Verse 8. Go ahead, Pharaoh's daughter told her. And the girl went and called the boy's mother. Let's continue. Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this child and nurse him for me. I will pay your wages. So the woman took the boy and nursed him. Uh -huh. Number 10. When the child grew older, she brought him to, to Pharaoh's daughter and he became a son. Look at that. She named him Moses and explained, I drew him from where? Praise the name of the living God. Huyu mama alikuwa destiny helper wa wana wa Israel. He, she didn't know she was fulfilling the God purpose, the purpose of God towards Moses. And because of her compassionate or her compassion for Moses, the Bible says God used Moses to do what? To deliver the children of Israel. You can have compassion over someone today and tomorrow they become the people who will come and deliver you out of your bondage. Praise the name of the living God. Don't become stiti. Usiwe mtu mchoyo. Usiwe mtu ambaye hana uruma. Muombezi ni mtu ambaye akona uruma. Ni mtu ambaye anaweza toa kwa niaba ya mtu. Ni mtu ambaye anaweza sacrifice. Look at this woman. Alimwambia, chukua huu mtu ndio ukafanya nini? Ukanlele. Na nitakuwa nakulipa. So aligaramika kulea msa ambaye sio wake. Ah aligaramika kulea mtu ambayo sio wake akalipa mamake mzazi ale mtu ambayo sio wake and when he grew up the bible says he went back to the house bana sipiwe akawa prince in egypt akajua siri za wa egypt even though he wasn't an egyptian he was given an opportunity to become who a prince in a foreign land bana sipiwe kanisa the person unahurumia leo anaweza kuwa msaada wako wa kesho. Muombezi ni mtu ambaye anahuruma. Ni mtu ambaye ako na moyo wa kuvunjika. Ni mtu ambaye ako tayari kulipa gharama kwa niaba ya wengine. Huyu mama dada ya farao, kama mtu wa farao, alilipa gharama ya kulea Musa. Na keshoe Musa akawa ndio chombo ambaye Mungu alitumia to deliver his people. Praise the name of the living God. Do you have compassion? Wewe unauruma. You are pouring food in your house. And many people are starving. Moyo wako. Unaweza vunjika kwa sabi shida ya mtu mwingine. Ukisikia ni na shida. Utaibeba vipi. Ukisikia ni nimepungukiwa. What will you do? Utanichekelea. Or you will hold me with your hand. And walk with me. Ukisikia ni meanguka. Backslide. What will you do? Praise the name of the living God. Will you laugh at me? Or you will cry to God and tell God, bring back this child because she belongs to the kingdom of God. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Ni wengi kanisa ni imejaa watu ambao hawa na uruma. Kanisa imejaa watu ambao hawataki kusaidia. Kanisa imejaa watu ambao hawa jali. Let me tell you, you must learn to care. Don't have that I don't care attitude in the church. Do not usikubali kuwa mtu ambaye you don't care. No. A believer must care. A child of God must care. Don't tell me sijali vile wanasema. Lazima ujali vile wanasema. Lazima ujali. Mwana wa Mungu anajali maana vile wanasema either Inapea mungu ushuda, ame naaribu kuchapo jina la kristo. You must learn to care. Wana yesu wasifiwe. Huyu mama, she had compassion. She took a son who was supposed to die. She took a son who was supposed to be killed by the same people. The father was, alikuwa meoda wa uwe. 
the same people farao akasema vijana wote fanya nini wauawe kill all the sons in this land lakini huyu akafichwa kwa nyumba ya mfalme listen god has placed you in this church to have compassion over somebody's life you are not here by mistake hauko hapa kimakosa umewekwa hapa wewe umeokoka wherever you are those who are watching me umeokoka kwa sababu ya wewe kuwa na huruma kwa maisha ya mtu god has given you salvation and you can pray for those who are sinners don't condemn them pray for them hallelujah because uokovu ni Mungu ametupatia sio jasho yako ati nilifanya kazi kwa bidii Mungu akaniokoa hapana you are born again because of the grace of god ni neema ya Mungu imekuweka hai siku ya leo so kama mwingine yako chini it is your work to have compassion over them and pray for them hallelujah bwana yesu asifiwe an intercessor must have compassion kama hauna huruma you don't qualify to become an intercessor usiseme wewe ni muombaji jiangalie how compassionate are you how do you have compassion moyo wako uko namna gani ukiona mtu ako na shida how do you react ama tu wewe usema ah acha ajipange unaambiwa liko njaa ah wewe jipange you don't care that is the church of today the early church kanisa ya kwanza walikuwa wanauza mali zao wanauza mashamba yao they bring their money where kwa madhabahu ndio wasikose sababu say and they increased and they lacked nothing hawakukosa lakini wewe saa hii unakula paka unadhevea unajua kudhevea hiyo ni greek na haujali kama kuna mwingine ana njaa the church of today has no compassion over its own may god help us church mungu atusaidie tuwe na, na moyo because god himself we serve a compassionate god our god is a god of compassion because kama angekuwa hana huruma ama hana huruma kwetu angetuma yesu but because his love surpassed our sin akatuma mtoto wake mwana wake wa pekee lakini wewe tu kikwazo kidogo kanisani the first thing unifanya nini siendi kanisa wewe hujakoma you are still a spiritual baby praise the name of the living god mtu ambaye amekoma anajua tu a ah, this is this is what kelele za nani za chura hata wa kuinukia namna gani au hami kanisa unakaa pale umeka kama mawe nasema hapa singoki na unahurumia wale wengine na kuwasaidia bwana yesu asifiwe haleluya give me the uh, 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 psalm 86 psalm 86 let's see how our god is compassion God is a God of compassion. Hallelujah. Psalm 86 verse 15. Inasema Psalm 86, but you, O Lord, are a compassionate and do, and what? Gracious God, slow to anger, ab- abounding in love and devotion and faithfulness. That is the God that we serve. He is a God of who? Compassion. He is full of compassion. He is gracious. Hello. Ambaye ako slow to anger. Kama Mungu anakaa ndani yako. Where do you get that kind of anger? Hasira hiyo umetoa wapi? Atukasirika unachukua tabu tunapigia chini, unapasua TV, unapasua vikombe. Kama Mungu wetu ni Mungu ambaye ako na hana hasira ya haraka. Wewe hiyo hasira yako unitoa wapi? Na Mungu anakaa ndani yako kama wewe hauna compassion wewe Mungu wako ni Mungu yupi maana God lives in you haleluya anakaa ndani yako na kama anejaa na huruma pia wewe lazima ujawe na huruma that is one of the calls za kutuambia umeokoka sio ushuhuda mrefu hapana haleluya sio ushuhuda mrefu oh mchungaji nimeokoka Yesu ni bwana ah uh-uh. how compassionate are you how gracious are you and how slow to anger loving how loving are you abounding in what in love devotion and faithfulness 
amejaa upendo amejaa ushirika na amejaa uaminifu ah huyo ndio Mungu tunaabudu siku ya leo na kama ako ndani yako pia tunafaa kuwa kama yeye haleluya praise the name of the living god kanisa ya siku hizi ni kanisa ambayo haijali ni kanisa ambayo haina mziko ya mtu mwingine ni wapendo ambao hawana hawana nafasi hawana hawana time na mtu mwingine they are so busy in their personal things hata ukiambiwa ndugu patikana tukuje tukue na ushirika wewe unasema ah ah i'll be busy at my work station bwana yesu asifiwe hauna muda wa kutembelea mtu ambaye ni mgonjwa unasikia we have a brother who is sick you don't care you don't have time we have a sister who has delivered let's go and celebrate ah ah nyendeni you you release your 200 when you will be in need we will gather all your 200 and send it to you because money cannot replace fellowship pesa haiwezi ku replace ushirika hata kama hauna pesa tokelezea sema mimi nimefika peke yake mimi sina kitu lakini nimefika mimi mwenyewe bwana yesu asifiwe lakini wewe kukuwa na msiba uendi mazishi ya watu hauendi furaha za watu na watu naolewa wewe uendi harusi wanasherekea birthday haupatikani wewe uko busy unatuma 100 200 when you will need these people they will give you back your money and you will notice money cannot replace he was what loving abounding in love and what devotion ushirika ni kitu ya muhimu sana but you o oh lord <laughs> niv are compassionate and gracious god slow to anger abounding in love and what faithfulness amejaa upendo na uaminifu look at king james but thou o oh lord art at a god full of compassion and gracious long suffering and plenteous in mercy and truth nimesema aje compassion works together with patience kama wewe hauna long suffering kama wewe hauna hauna mtu akuvumilia wewe uvumiliigi ukikwazo leo unahama kanisa uko na shida wewe hauna roho ya huruma maana huruma inavumilia huruma inabeba mwenzako huruma haichoki compassion haichoki hata mtu akuje leo kesho kesho kutwa you still have a hand to give you still have a hand to support lakini kama wewe tunangoja kupewa kila wakati wewe hautolei mwingine wewe haupatikani kwa ushirika haupatikani kwa kwa, ma, kwa maombolezi haupatikani kwa haruza wenyewe you have a problem church god can never use you to be an intercessor bwana yesu asifiwe last but not least an intercessor must be diligent what is diligence in kiswahili tamalizie hiyo ingine sande muombezi anafaa kuwa mtu ambaye ako diligent yani ni mtu ambaye what is that in kiswahili ha huh? mtu mwenye bidii ha huh? mtu mwadilifu bwana asifiwe muombezi ni mtu mwadilifu mtu ambaye ako na bidii you know bidii it is diligence that keeps us moving hata kama leo umekosa hauui bidii unaambia bidii kesho asubuhi mapema tuamkie amen ukienda hapa uambiwe hakuna kazi you move the next door knock the next door ambie pale nimefukuzwa lakini hapa hawanijui bwana yesu asifiwe so diligence ni bidii lazima uwe na bidii lazima uwe mtu wa kujituma stop relaxing wacha kufika mahali wewe we, bado una ngangana na umetosheka desire deep things desire kuwa na bidii kwa kazi ya Mungu na kwa maisha ya watu wengine Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Taka kujua how is this brother living make sure una jiwekee kuwa na muziki wa kujua ndugu yangu anakaa namna gani leo Huyu mtu leo ameishi vipi Huyu leo amekaaje Pastor ameamka vizuri leo kuwa na hiyo diligence ya kujua ah can i call my pastor to find out leo aliamka aje unajua some of you think 
pastor na mkaa tu throughout kila siku ako sawa. Sometimes I have my low moments. I have one lady in this church. Hawezi kawa one week kama yanipigia. Pastor, ukoje? She's the only one who calls me. Bana sipiwe. Hata wakati wa COVID she was really an encouragement to my life. Kila siku ananipigia, "Pastor, bana sipiwe, nimekumiss." Nasema, "Oh, so there is somebody who is missing my service." Bana sipiwe. Lakini wewe unakaa miezi tatu. Ndio unaona unapigia pansa ile kuna hitaji. Hello pastor nimeshikwa. Ah? <laughs> Bwana sifiwe mchungaji nimefinyika hapa nisaidie. Lakini uwezi kupigia pastor mwambie pastor bwana asifiwe. Nimeamua nikupigie nikujulie hali. Unaendelea vipi? Praise the name of the living God. Pigia mshirika mwenzako muambie ndugu umehamka vipi? Siku iko vipi? Wiki iko vipi? Don't just be somebody who calls when there's a problem. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Usiwe tu mtu wa kupiga simu kwa sababu kuna kuna shida. Julia mtu hali. Be diligent to know how your brother is living. Be diligent to know how your sister is living. Na hiyo ndio moyo ambao uko na compassion. Unapenda watu wengine. Devotion. Patikana kwa ushirika. Jua taka kujua watu wanakaa vipi. Don't be that I don't care attitude. Remove it from your life. Na ujue muombezi ni mtu ambaye ako na moyo wa huruma. Jesus anasema in the book of Matthew Matthew 9:36 that when Jesus saw them he had compassion over them. Matthew 9:36 if I'm not wrong. And when Jesus uh -huh, when he saw the crowd this is Jesus he was moved with compassion for them because they were harassed helpless like a sheep without a shepherd angalia moyo wa Yesu imagine alipowaangalia akaona hawa watu crowd the crowd huh? but when he saw the multitude he was moved with compassion on them because they they fainted Yesu aliwahurumia maana aliona wana faint praise god and they were scattered abroad akaona wametawanyika the work of gathering people si kazi ya pastor peke yake ni kazi ya kila mshirika when you are moved by compassion you will bring people together you would want them to become one ah as a sheep having no shepherd yesu aliwahurumia maana aliona wamekwisha hawana mlinzi kanisa haina walinzi maana kila mtu ako busy kufanya kazi yake everybody is running up and down thinking about their personal selfish needs god is calling us to become a diligent church praise the name of the living god a diligent church cares akiona kanisa ijapangwa anapanga akiona kanisa jaoshwa unaosha sio ungoje kuambiwa tuoshe Sio goja kuambiwa saidia mtu fulani be diligent in your fellowship be diligent in your prayers pray without ceasing pray with diligence tafuta Mungu kwa niaba ya mtu fulani like now we are going for election in Kenya it is the church that's supposed to pray for this nation because if we don't pray we will get bad leaders who will live with them for the next five years Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Let us be diligent in whatever we do and God will fill us with the spirit of intercession. Ataona bidii yako atasema huyu anaweza kuombea taifa. Huyu anaweza kuomboa familia. Huyu anaweza kuomboa familia. Anaweza kuomboa kanisa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. But if you have no diligence, hauwezi pewa hiyo roho ya kutafuta Bwana. Hauwezi pewa hiyo nafasi ya kuomba. You cannot be given that time because how na bidi God rewards effort and diligence. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. We will continue on Sunday. God giving us grace. But maombi yangu ni kwamba siku ya leo tumejifunza kwamba muombezi anafaa kuwa mtu ambaye ako na ujasiri, mtu ambaye hana uoga, 
anafaa kuwa mtu ambaye ako na moyo wa huruma. Jifunze kuhurumia watu na kuwaombea. Unaweza kosa pesa ya kunipatia. Bwana asifiwe sana. Unaweza kosa fedha. You can lack money. But you can't like time to pray for me. Hauwezi kosa nafasi ya kuniombea. So usiniambie pastor ningekununulia soda lakini sina pesa. Usinipe soda niombe. Bwana asifiwe. Usinipe mali. Pray for me. As you pray for me, you are giving me more than what money can buy. Praise the name of the living God. I want us to be on our feet as we pray. As we enter to our destinies. Unapoingia katika hatima zetu, jiulize tu. Nikiingia katika hatima yangu, niko na bidii ya kufanya kazi katika hiyo madhabahu Mungu amenipatia. We ambaye ni mwimbaji, we ambaye Mungu anakutumia katika njia yote inatumika. Uko na diligence. Do you have the diligence of God in you? Are you giving God your best? Are you praying your best? Hallelujah. Maombi yako ni ile kamili. Ama kuna kitu imebakisha nyuma. Kama imebaki tonight tunaambia Mungu nisaidie Bwana. Help me God that I will be fearless and bold. That I'll be compassionate. That I'll be diligent in my prayer. I will stick you with every bit of my heart. I will call upon you. I will desire to work with you. I will desire that you use me more and more. Father, we thank you and we bless you. Thank you for everyone, Lord, who has heard my voice today. Thank you for everybody who has sat and listened to what I was preaching today, my Father. This is what you have put in my heart. And I thank you because I've delivered it as you gave me King of Glory. Tonight, we humble before you and we pray that Father, help us to become bold. Help us to become fearless. Help us to become compassionate. Help us to have diligence in whatever we do. We thank you because we know we have heard your word and we are going to do it according to what you have heard and what you have told us today. Bless us, my Father. Release the Holy Ghost upon us that he will fill us with your power that we may pray and tarry in your presence, Abba Father. We love you, we appreciate you, and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray and give thanks. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining us. God bless you, we love you, and we appreciate you. Join us on Friday from 5.30 to 6.30 for one hour of worship before the Lord, and God will bless you and keep you well. Shalom, we love you and we appreciate you. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah.